in Mexico, you little shit. <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world, where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Look out, bandits! Two of them. Cut the rope. Drip down river. Oh my good lord! I should have probably been a thousand two. Head in Mexico. Who the hell you got to find that? Let's go with the river. They'll have to stop chasing us for this really. Jump to it, Johnny boy. There's a rifle at the back of the raft. Reload from that box at the back. If you need to. Stick and touch the puppets! There's the best. Sure is a lot of them. You gotta go wrong, it must be. Too much for a warning. to forgive and forget these fellas.
so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Hey, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that polka? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? I'm more the sons of bitches! Fight that rock! Hey boy, let's just step the head fight. down! I haven't stepped foot in this country and they're already trying to kill me! Well, you will insist on fraternizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. Stick and touch this fucking!
miss these escapades, Johnny boy. I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on. We'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two. Go to hell, the lot of you. We made it, thank the Lord. I'm very glad to be getting out of that floating death trap. Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, Saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it Four Card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. <laughs> So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one. Gringo. What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> the 
breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men?